The rumors, the discussion, the hot topics. Maybe we should change the name of this segment to Hot Takes. Well, uh, boy. Uh, yes, Michael. This week. Yes, Michael. In rumor Mike. discussion. Yes. Hot takes. Yes, hot takes. Hot. Hot, hot takes. Mm-hmm. We, uh, <laughs> we, we got this recurring theme, okay? So in rumors, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, we were here in, uh, oh, the Han Solo might be coming back mm-hmm. for Ep 9. He ain't dead. He ain't dead. Ain't seen a body. Ain't nobody Ain't dead. dead. Ain't dead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Palpatine's still floating around, clinging to a piece of metal, a, a piece of space drift metal. <laughs> well, you know, before the Han Solo, <laughs> we had. Like uh, we also had the rumors that the Luke Skywalker was coming back. He was making a return. Yeah. In his physical being, his physical body restored. His body. He was never killed. He was never dead. Mm-hmm. He forced. Put body together. Mm-hmm. He just right. uh, he just transported himself to somewhere else. It makes perfect sense. Basically, what's going to happen is that Ray and Kylo are going to cast the same spell, and they're going to point their lightsabers directly at each other, mm. and then all the people killed. <laughs> oh, I oh see. no! Will come walking out. Oh, Wait, I get it now. Kylo didn't kill him, though. No, I didn't say killed by Kylo because that would have invalidated oh. my joke. <laughs> <laughs> Just everybody killed ever comes out. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And then Luke's mom and dad are there. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. I don't remember the spell. Yeah. Expecto reversum, something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got swish and flick, swish and flick. So yeah, so it was the Luke Skywalker and the Han Solo. Well, this week, yeah, <laughs> supposedly. The Snoke is now returning. Yep. Hey, he was killed by <laughs> that lightsaber. He's rolling he right was, out. Hey, he was cut in half. But yeah. we all know in Star Wars when you're cut in half. <laughs> Doesn't mean nothing. That means shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. They in both fact, said the same thing. <laughs> but I interpreted them totally differently. <laughs> in fact, if you get cut in half in Star Wars, you can come back and be a badass. That's right. And get robot legs. Robot yeah. legs. You can even have spider legs. Of of course, in Woo. Snoke's case, he'll need robot legs and a couple of arms because his arms <laughs> came off too. But yeah, uh, yeah, that sucks. He also probably needs some like juice or something because his tongue was hanging out. It probably got pretty dry. <laughs> yeah, he was a little dehydrated. Give him a little Capri Sun to suckle on. Yeah. You know, he's gonna make a Vader outfit just to screw with uh, Kylo. Yeah, fooled you. I'm yeah. not Vader. Is this movie accurate, Kylo? <laughs> 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 what he sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> I am restored. <laughs> okay, so so the serious the serious question. I mean, <laughs> the serious question behind this. I mean, how likely is any of this? How likely are we to see? Well, let's just start with snow. I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> Here I am, Snook. <laughs> Return to power <laughs> Restore to my body Absolutely <laughs> And I have multiple mouths That I speak from simultaneously <laughs> <laughs> Pay no attention to my lifeless legs and arms They just sort of dangle behind me <laughs> For the rest of me is restored <laughs> Uh, all right. yeah. I'd watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I got <laughs> I like Fop Snoke. Snoke. Fop Snoke is the best Snoke. Yeah. yeah. He is. wears he wears a trilby. <laughs> <laughs> and a powdered wig. Exactly. Maybe with a tricorn <laughs> hat or something. Yeah. And spats. <laughs> yeah. Let's start a cooking show. Uh, oh my. Yes. Yeah. Oh it my. sounds like yeah, you could, yeah, a cooking How show. How deliciously yeah. evil mm. this turn of events <laughs> <laughs> turned into hedonism. Yeah. <laughs> Zombie, the chocolate song. <laughs> <laughs> 
Kino. <laughs> now how face a fully armed and operational star killer base. <laughs> He's Irish too. <laughs> <laughs> Have you brought Ray with you? She's so delicious. You know, I totally linked you two up. I'm a right matchmaker, I am. <laughs> I knew Rayla was going to be a thing the whole time. Mm, never a doubt. <laughs> so sultry. <laughs> he laughs like Betty Rubble. <laughs> <laughs> Are you having twins? <laughs> it's a thing, you know. Runs in the family. Oh! Did I say too much? Have I let the loth cat out of the loth bag? <laughs> that was a loth bag. <laughs> Dude, that's Fop Snoke. You don't ask. You just roll with it. <laughs> My cheeks hurt. Oh, Nature Boy's back. Oh no, barely. Nature Boy and Fob Snoke. Ugh. Now that's a, that's something I want to see on the silver screen. That's, yeah, that's next on Disney Plus. <laughs> that's your cage match of the century, right there. <laughs> I don't know what to do this, guys. Okay, so He's just a stump. <laughs> Snoke is unlikely to come back, but I need him to come back. You need closure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need what we just performed. <laughs> <laughs> Indubitably. <laughs> are you reaching? Are you bending over to suckle the, the tequila am, like, out I, of I, your overfilled glass? Yes, it's my you overfilled You know when you glass. spill that hard alcohol on my crappy paint job on this table, <laughs> the paint just comes right off. I'm sorry. <laughs> Such maintenance required. What are you doing? I say. <laughs> Mike's escaped. Mike just gave up. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> he's like, forget <laughs> this. Oh, he's got the low battery on the other camera. <laughs> no, no. I want you to edit in you bending over into frame to fix it. I want that in the final video. Do it. Why not? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, so that's pretty ridiculous. I don't see Snope coming. Snope. Snope. <laughs> Snope. <laughs> Look it up on Snope. How deliciously bubbly. Oh, sip it slower then. Mm. Don't rush these things, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> now he's just wiping it off on his pant leg. Hey, Use Mike, you want to you know the second sign of alcoholism? What? You're just wiping your alcohol off on your pants. Yeah, that's all right. He's saving it for later. Dry. Dang it. It'll dry. He'll suck it out later. I'm an alcoholic. Oh. Yeah, I, I can't I'm, wipe it up, man. I don't see any rags. No, I don't usually plan on people throwing liquids around in the studio. I'm, I'm just sorry. saying. But yeah. Mike's here every I know, ta- I know. all the time. I know. He's literally the reason why there's a plywood case around the mixer. Yeah. <laughs> and the first day he tried to spill something on it. <laughs> I tried. I literally said when I was building it, and at, and when Howie got here, I said I built this because Mike is going to try to spill something on it. <laughs> Two hours later, Mike tried to spill something on it. Yep. So <laughs> it is. It is. It's life. So no snow keto, huh? No return of El Presidente. Snow well, that's keto. a different story. El, El Fapo Supremo. <laughs> El Fapo <laughs> Supremo. <laughs> No, seriously, though. I mean, uh, again, I mean, obviously bringing back Luke Skywalker in the flesh is a slap in the face. You can't really do that. Han Solo. What? I I mean, huh? Huh? I believe it. Oh, dear God. Bring him back. But Snoke, too. I mean, I don't know. No, but maybe, just, I, I, just I guess of those three, I would, ima- <laughs> I would imagine that Snoke would be the most tempting for J.J. to bring back because I feel like that's a J.J. creation and I'm sure he had some kind of backstory for him and we're, uh, other than just being floor pancake. Yeah. I, I think I think what we're going to see is some reincarnation of those three characters put together. Whoa, oh, wow. Like a teleporter accident? Mm. <laughs> exactly, like a teleporter accident. <laughs> like oh, God, kill it! <laughs> like some messed up chimera? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, oh, it's, it's, a cross be- it's a cross between Han Solo and Snoke's bodies, but there's this weird dust all over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that's Luke. <laughs> Inform the next of kin there were no survivors. <laughs> kill it with fire! <laughs> <laughs> it has force ability and main luck to get out of sticky situations. Ooh. It's giving us force perspective. <laughs> oh, now wait. Mm. That's interesting. Could work. Could There's work. There. Okay, well, okay, so Han is ridiculous. Luke is ridiculous. Snoke is 
semi ridiculous. I mean, who who else? I mean, obviously, since since we're on this kick, you know, we might as well bring back everybody. Up with right? Just the most ridiculous possible grasping well, at the, straws rumors the, because there's nothing to spring the, from. The other the other one that's come up lately too, which we haven't brought up, Anakin. They keep saying. I mean, I've heard this for probably three or four months now that that Hayden Christensen he's coming back. He's yeah, coming sure back. he is. Yep, yep, yep. I'm he's sure back. he's back, baby. Because you know, suddenly, as a Force ghost, you know, you de. Well, no, of course, I guess in Return of the Jedi, he was de aged already, right? Yeah, I, exactly. I Precedence. I Actually, can't even, they're I can't bringing even back Jake Lloyd. There, <laughs> <laughs> he keeps scooting. It's like, wait a minute, I don't remember Anakin being a 27 year old <laughs> felon. Oh, he didn't look like this. Aww, poor did Jake. He? Oh yeah! I actually I have no idea how old he is. It, he's you know probably what, like it. thirty by now. I don't know. <laughs> well, it was twenty years ago. Shut up! <laughs> oh man! Shut up! <laughs> God, he's an old man Son now. Of a bitch, he's almost thirty. What? So Jake what? Lloyd, what happened to you? All right, so we all know that nobody has any effing idea what's going on with Akbar. It's we've, Akbar. Talk, we've said it many times. Yes. So what? I don't know. What could happen? <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know. What would be your craziest hypothesis <laughs> for episode nine? Really? Uh, bonus points if you can accompany it with a title. <laughs> Okay. What would be the absolute wackiest nonsense, but feasibly something that fanboys could buy into like they are everything that's coming out right now? The return of the Akbar. The return of the Akbar? <laughs> Akbar. We, hey, we, he needs his due, man. We find out that, that... He was cut down in his prime. We could fi- find out that Mon Kala, and I will always do Cody Fingers when Aww. I say that. Aww. We'll always find out, we'll find out that they all along have been able to ex- live in vacuum. They just <laughs> exactly. go into, like, vacuum hibernation. If, well, actually, what yeah. happens is they they become sort of like a black hole, and they start sucking things in and become very large. There you go. You and that? that's where we get Mon Cal Cruisers. That's right. Machine? <laughs> that's it. That's the how they would. Would. machine. You're old enough now. You got to become a Mon Cal Cruiser. You're like, oh, man. I like just being a Mon Cal dude. He just leveled up. <laughs> just rapidly He's evolving. Expands. He's like a Pokemon. <laughs> I know. Hey, you got any Amor Akbar candy? <laughs> I need to. I need to turn him hey, into. I need to turn him into 55. the Akbar. <laughs> so instead of Luke's hand floating in space, they see the gauntlet of the. Uh, uh, dang it! The Infinity Inven- Gauntlet. Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> yeah, floating through space. So floating through space. Uh, with Luke's hand in it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that explains everything. Grasping the lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, now we know why he turned to dust. He committed four suicide <laughs> using the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> I see. When I said half, I didn't mean me. <laughs> <laughs> no! I didn't mean the half that was wearing it. The inside half, I meant the outside no! half. Everyone else. The sacred tech uh. said nothing about this. <laughs> 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 Wouldn't it have been great? Wouldn't it have been great if right before Luke quote died end quote? Wouldn't it have been great if he suddenly had a moment of force clarity where he envisioned the books inside the Millennium Falcon drawer, and his eyes got wide, and right as he turned to dust, he's all shocked. He's like, "The secret t- <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Man, that guy was hung up on that." <laughs> he's like, "Mad." It's like, "Damned if you do, damned if you don't." Luke, jeez. Or he's shaking his fist, Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> You son of a bitch! <laughs> you son of a <laughs> You little green bastard! <laughs> Just kidding! Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mike, I forgot. What was your thing? <laughs> Akbar. Akbar is coming back. All right. Do you have a title of the movie to go with it? Uh, Akbar coming uh, back. Good. Admiral Akbar. Return of the Akbar. Return, guess, return uh, of the bigger fish. Allahu Akbar. What? What? Is that bad? I don't know if that's bad. It's like Lord uh, of God or something, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Are we yeah. offended? Sure, yeah. I I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's okay. All yeah. right. All right. Roll with it. There you go. I didn't make any visual depictions of anybody. No. Nope. So you, you did not. Okay. You did oh, yeah, not. That's for sure. Yeah. That's right. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else have to posit a cockamamie theory about Ep9? Oh, yeah. I got one again. Oh, j- oh <laughs> pour it on, bro. <laughs> if JJ really wants to stick it in and, and, and <laughs> turn the knife. Like Ron at the end of book five. Got yeah. it. Yeah. 
What? <laughs> and turn the knife on JJ. That happened he, in book five. He needs, <laughs> when we bought our, I've told this story so many times. When know, we went out kidding. at midnight to buy our book five, Harry Potter book five, <laughs> Mike flipped right to the last page, I standing in the checkout that. line. I know. And goes, oh, look, see, there it is. Ron put it in. <laughs> and then yeah, slams the book shut. <laughs> and other people heard. <laughs> oh, butt crack again. Yep, yeah, there it was. Now we don't know what Mike's other idea is because he's got to go back and slam. Okay, yeah, 10% battery. Okay, close. <laughs> What's your other idea, Mike? To go. Yeah, well, Mike's all over the place right now. Come on, Mike. Guys, ever it's good. It's good. To keep the it's good that these low battery things get him to get up and move around because he's normally half asleep by Son now. This, this is supposed to be the laser focus podcast. No, I'm laser. I'm <laughs> yeah, there. That's what we said. No, before, he man. needs to bring back. Uh, that's what we're known we for. We need freaking laser beams. He needs to bring back Holdo if he really wants to stick Ooh. it to to Ryan. <gasps> Holdo doesn't she's, die. She's she's hey, how become he, a hyper. Beam. Howie, we didn't see her die. True. No, no. She didn't True. die on space. This is no. really just one big pit. Hello. You're right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the space maybe pit. It's just, yeah. Maybe it's just a wake from her vessel that destroyed all. Not the actual. Yeah, it's actually the, the big cruiser she, sitting somewhere out of gas. I think she, <laughs> yeah, jumped, like, I think yeah, she yeah. jumped out the window before it went into hyper. She did. Flipping the double deuce. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she, I'd love to see She that. opened up the glove compartment, pulled out that claw hammer, bashed through the transparent <laughs> steel, and just jumped out with both She's middle like, fingers oh. reaching. Oh, wait. This has autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> what was I thinking? Hold on out. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on out. <laughs> she's like, she's floating backwards, looking down her body with the middle fingers out, right? Looking back at the Imperial fleet, and there's like anime lines all around her nice. to illustrate that she's moving quickly. Nice. And then you, you oh. see her I love say, it. Hold the door. Door. Hold the door. Oh, Hold no. the door. Hold the door. <laughs> Hold the door. Oh no. Hold are we gonna are we gonna get are we gonna get Boy, special please. admiral? Oh, no. oh, no. That's that seems oh, like a no. bad idea. <laughs> That's really bad. That's a really Hold bad idea. Door. Don't be dissing on Hodor, Aww. bro. Aww. Hodor is my jam. That was Never wow. Never hey, go she, was, Hodor. she was Hodo's mom, so Hodor's mom, yeah, Admiral right. Holdo. <laughs> Hodor. Hodor. Oh, that's his name. His, his full name is Hodor W. Holdo. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Hello. <laughs> if you want to make it it's, interesting. It's, wait, no, it's, Holdo, you... it's Holdo, Hodor H. Holdo because his middle name is Hold. So, <laughs> Hodor Hold Holdo. I think the W is going to be Waldo. <laughs> Waldo. Waldo oh, yeah. Hodor Waldo Holdo. <laughs> if you really sense. want to make this part of the canon and, and give it some deep meaning, yeah. <laughs> you have to tie it to Game of Thrones. Holdo lives. Way. That's it. Hey, they went all you the trouble it. to make that awesome yeah. purple dress she was wearing, which seems really out of place. But every time I see it, I'm like, man, that's man, that was a character, man. That's, that's a nice dress. That's the case. I'm not even joking. Like she just looked like I don't. I don't want to say, oh Lord, there is hot. I mean, she's a pretty lady, but it's like, but it's like that is like the most regal looking damn dress I've ever seen, costume I've ever seen. It and really I'm like, is. yeah. Every time I see her, I'm like, man, that's just breathtaking. <laughs> I know it doesn't sound like me. <laughs> Twenty million dollar dress. Cor- where's she my Corey? Long neck. <laughs> what have you done with my Corey? No, don't worry. <laughs> Ori? <laughs> yes! Apparently. Hello! I'm Paul Lind as Kaori. <laughs> My gosh. How many times can Hollywood Squares come up in a night? <laughs> Goodness sake. Uh, okay, anybody else have any wacky, outlandish, but feasible? I don't know that I've heard many feasible. Hey, well, Mike does. Hey, if we're, best. Ta- if we're talking Hollywood Squares, we got to bring. trying his damned best, Howie. <laughs> if we're talking Hollywood Squares, we got to bring back Jim J. Bullock. I mean, come on, Jim J. Bullock. Ooh. Oh man, it's like it's like just now. What I just saw happen in front of me just now was like that scene in Last Crusade where he drinks from the wrong grail. And he ages like forty years. Yeah, real fast. Yeah, All right. yeah. You chose, he chose poorly. <laughs> yeah, Jim I'm J. Sorry. Bullock. Oh, wow. Yeah, related to Sandra Bullock. Young people will have to oh, Google Sandra Jim Bullock. J. Bullock. No, Jim no. J. Bullock was Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he's probably huh? better known for from Alf. Alvin Square. No, not from Alf. <laughs> He was in. He was uh, too close was, uh, for Willie's. comfort. <laughs> no, he's Willie Tanner's brother. He right? was Danny Tanner. He lived in a RV out front. Oh remember? my gosh, was that him? 
think so. Oh my gosh! You I can't trust that. Garrick. I you can't trust Garrick. Well, oh. I, either way, on too close for comfort, he was Monroe, <laughs> who lived uh, two <laughs> floors up. Oh man, he was semi regular on Alf from eighty nine to ninety. Is Neil go. Tanner? There, there you go. go. Wow. Good job, Garrick. Garrick swung in there and hit hard. Woo. Hello. Ooh, that hurt my brain. I'm done. He uh, he was Peace a guest out. host on a special episode of Super Sloppy Double Dare. Of course he was. Mm-hmm. Super mm-hmm. sloppy. Yep. Uh. Yep. That's where Mark Summers and announcer Harvey played against each other. I don't know why high school teachers hate Wikipedia. It's the best thing ever. Just saying. <laughs> tells you everything. You tells me everything know. I need to know about Monroe. <laughs> so... I hope anyone who listens to this show has ever watched Too Close for Comfort and knows why I keep saying it that way. I don't think I've seen Too Close for I It used to be on every time I was homesick. It was like the only sitcom that was on in the middle of the day, so I would watch it without fail. Um, all right. I think we need to see a scene um, between uh, Kylo and uh, Anakin, but it's like in the style of the movie Ghost. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and I, I actually, yeah, no. no, that's, I, that would sure be the bodyguard. I'm not Garrett. sure that's the right <laughs> one, Garrett. Yeah. You're Dang about, it. you're about three Wait, decades. Too, <laughs> you're about three decades too late <laughs> on that one. Unless you're Simpsons using the Dolly episode. Parton version, which is only one and a half decades too late. I was thinking of the Simpsons episode where Luke Skywalker, uh, <laughs> Homer out as, the, as that bodyguard music. <laughs> that, one. that must be it. Yep. All right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. No, I, you wanted the Righteous Brothers Unchained Melody. Yes, that's, what, that's what you wanted. Yeah, I, I saw a great picture the other day where someone had just photoshopped in a bunch of tamale fixins. So they were <laughs> Patrick Swayze has his hands around Demi Moore and he's like putting guacamole <laughs> in a corn husk. <laughs> and there's just tamale fixings everywhere. No explanation <laughs> at all. <laughs> Somebody decided instead of making, instead of throwing pots, instead of making pottery, they were making tamales. Of course they were. Why? <laughs> Hello, tamales. God, I love the internet. Who who wakes up one morning and goes, oh my. <laughs> I've, I've got an idea and I have to act upon oh, it. <laughs> that's the best internet. <laughs> yes. That internet the is goofy the best net, internet. Yeah, goofy internet's the best. They're internet. making tamales. <laughs> Oh God, I'm gonna die laughing just thinking about it. <laughs> okay, we're too close to comfort now. Do yes, where he always wore the different college sweatshirts. I feel like I brought up too close for comfort on the podcast Ted before. Yeah, I was Ted Knight it up, Monroe. Yeah. He was a co- related uh, a to Bobby Knight artist, and he had like <laughs> hand puppets and stuff. Right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly right. Yeah, it was a good show. It absolutely was. Now Too back close at the, for comfort. Back at the Hall of Justice. Ah. That's why I say Monroe because the same voice, same dude. Ted, Ted Knight was the was the Justice League narrator guy, or not Justice Meanwhile. League. Meanwhile. Super Friends? Super, Super Friends. friends. I, was, yeah. I was getting ready to say Justice America, OK, yeah. number one. Super Friends <laughs> and the Legion of Doom. Super Friends. Yes, exactly. So anyway, um, OK, here's mine. Here's mine. Yes, yes. This is not. This is the kind of thing that I feel like people would actually like buy into. OK, ready? <laughs> so we can't fix the Ray Saber. Which is what it used to be Luke's lightsaber, which used to be Anakin's lightsaber. It can't be fixed, right? Thanks, Ryan. Sure? But it's it okay. Cut in half, you can fix it. But <laughs> it's okay. Mace window. Because Mas Kanata has the green lightsaber in the chest that was right next oh, to the one with the blue yeah. lightsaber. Oh, she should have taken the green one. Why would she better. only have Hello. one of them? She's like, somebody found this. Luke showed up. I mean, he gave me both his lightsaber because he's like, I don't want lightsaber. He's like, you know anymore. what? I'm going away for a while. Why yeah. don't you just hold on to this? Yeah. And he said, don't keep don't keep all your Sarlax in the same sand dune. So she put that's that's classic Luke. That's, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So she yep. put the lightsabers into Kyber adjacent crystals. chests. Yeah. <laughs> See? So at her other bar that didn't get blown up. She's a chess for every lightsaber. <clears throat> a lot of chess. Yeah, yeah. She she's them. she collects them like a like a like a hut street lord. <laughs> Whatever that guy. Why not? Gracchus the hut. Yeah, Gracchus. Gracchus. Make a necklace out of. She them? wears yeah. them around her neck. Yeah. 
Well, for her, laser, it'd be more like a skirt. A little bit, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a lightsaber skirt. Yeah, lightsaber <laughs> hula skirt. Yeah. She turns them all on at once. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Aloha. Oh, ching, That's ching, clang, so clang, ching, clang. She used to be like six feet tall. Yeah, man. she kept lopping really off pissed. chunks of leg. <laughs> <laughs> they, grow, they grow back slowly. She's like Jar Jar. Just can't hold on to it. It's a wee bit slippity. Wee bit slippity. Or mooey slippity. <laughs> muy, muy, yeah. muy slippery, muy bombad. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, and the name of this movie is Return of the Saber. Huh? Okay. What if it's like Return of the Jedi 2? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I like if it. If JJ's going to like do what he did it. with The Force Awakens again, he might as well just cut to the chase and call it that. <laughs> Return of the Jedi Side B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. How, how have we not gotten a name yet? I, well, maybe by the time this airs, we. A lot of people are predicting that celebration is where we're going to get a name well, and a teaser. I saw on the Twitter social media that we got the uh, last Jedi name right about now. Yeah, like last week, we got it last week, one year ago, whatever. Yeah, so, yeah, I did know. see that. I actually saw it all graphed out. We're right about the time where we would normally get a title. Come on, Disney! You you know right that as soon as we. Push the stop button on the recording. Tonight. They're going to release the title yeah, so that so <laughs> tomorrow, that, yeah, yeah, we tomorrow. get the title. No, today, yeah. later today. It's <laughs> technically tomorrow, and and so two weeks from now or a week and a half from now, when this episode airs, right. we're going to sound like total idiots. Yep. On top of what we normally do, which is also what we <laughs> hey, normally we do. Know that two weeks ago somebody said that the title was yeah. By the way, your Jim J. Bullock was on uh, the when they brought back Hollywood Squares, bro. He wasn't on it as much back in the day. Yeah, We're talking he, classic but, Hollywood but Squares, on, man. On that re, he was in like Whoopi Goldberg Hollywood Squares, yes. and but he was there like every week. That was like Paul Lynn, bro. Every freaking week. Mm-hmm. Paul Lynn was just like, I just want to day drink and get paid. Word. <laughs> like scratch his head, looked confused, and just like, yeah, I'm all that different than normal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mm-hmm. I agree, gotcha. except for the paid part. Up now, yeah. So anyway, anybody else have any other uh, crazy? Come on, guys, chime in, baby. Dig deep, <gasps> dig deep, Garrick. You're not helping. Yeah, Garrick. No, oh, you're. You Come on, ideas, took my... baby. Are, we're never gonna get hired. Oh, by oh, 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 and the entire movie is takes place on Toydaria. Oh, oh. Toydarians everywhere. Yeah. And they all just sound like Kerbunjity Russians. I'm a Todarian. Uh, like, what about Snoke? Was it Snoke? Was <laughs> it actually <laughs> the Hey, it's a little etiquette. <laughs> Snoke wasn't actually the supreme leader. It was actually Jar Jar. There you go. I knew yep. it. Yep. 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 He's, he's. They're bringing a full getting, circle, and we're going to get Ahsoka. Oh, Soka's coming in. They're going with the original vision, baby. Back in the Soviet toyed area, Chance Cuba rolls you. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't <Yeah>. fair. <laughs> it's funny because he, he turned the phrase and yeah. it made it funny. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did. Do you have any idea how many episodes of Night Court Yakov Smirnoff was on? I'm just saying there were a lot. And you know what his name was? No. Yakov. All right. Yep. Okay. In the first one, he didn't even speak English. Nice. Second one, he came back and he spoke English. <laughs> so well, I suppose he needed. Tuck to. yourself in tonight with that tidbit of knowledge floating yeah, around the your fall, head. The fall of the Soviet Union really ruined that guy's career. Didn't it? Aw, poor guy. <laughs> Actually, I believe he's got a standing gig in Branson, Missouri. Oh, yeah, he's got his own theater and show, I believe. So that's wow. like that's like Vegas for old white people. Hey, you know what? You know what I think is going to happen in Up Nine. They're going to bring back uh, Lando. That's what I think. That's they are. That's they are. Been oh, that's happening. Yep. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Episode Nine: Attack of the Landos. <laughs> I wonder who his son's going to be. <laughs> I don't know. Who's All right, it be, Howie. All right. Here's the ultimate rumor. Stop, you guys ready? Stop, I'm going to make stop. it up. I'm making it up right now. No, ready? we can't do this. All right. Here's it's the ultimate not right. rumor. Don't okay. do it! Stop! We're gonna you find out. We're not gonna find out whose Ray's parents were because they were just some drunkards, right? 
But we're gonna find out whose Finn's parents are. <laughs> Because, because that's what everybody wants to know. Because we know we know Lando's in the movie. Well, hello. And there is a very very limited number of black people in the Star Wars oh, galaxy. No, you said it. <laughs> and the reason why I say it is because I saw it on. I've seen it on a couple of places now on uh, the web where people yeah. are going. I think this. Here's we're probably gonna find out who Finn's families are, and that's why Lando's in the movie. I'm like, are you kidding me? You can't have two black guys in a movie without having them be related. Are we are we really doing this? Like in the 80s, I could see someone legitimately guessing this because, you know, under exposure. But I feel like we're past that at this point. In fact, I will say now that if Finn ends up being related to Lando oh, even it. distantly. Stop it. I'm going to be so pissed off. Stop it. <laughs> so pissed off because that is lame and like nope, so on the nose. That's the best ever. <laughs> no. 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 And I, that's that and that's <laughs> actually that's part of what sparked this discussion as I was talking about this before we recorded. And I'm like this is asinine. This is asinine yeah. and then there are people out there who actually believe it. Like, yeah, that's why Lando's in it. That's like, why Lando no, finds like, his son and takes him under his wing, baby. You know, Those Lando's in there so they can kill like, him off. <laughs> he's like, hey, that that girl, that girl you've been liking. Mm -hmm. You guys like that? Yeah. Uh, huh? Oh, huh, buddy. I, he's like, Dad. I know you're doing no. a character, but I'm still creeped out for real. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's doing a good job. I think Lando <laughs> takes him under his wing and says, this is son. This is if you ain't got her in bed yet. <laughs> he's like, it seems like you're having trouble sealing the deal, son. <laughs> you're no son of mine. <laughs> you're no son. I mean, we have a reputation to maintain. <laughs> You're a Calrissian. You gotta, you're a Calrissian. You gotta, you know. They're gonna break out into a song and dance. Where's gonna get around? What? <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> What's happening here? I don't know. <laughs> Only in the mind of Howie would that be okay to say, because I know that he wasn't thinking about what how it sounded to me at all. <laughs> I never, I never think about how. It I feel to guilty you. watching the Little Rascals Follies of 1938. <laughs> And I wasn't even around when they made it. Oh, dear God. You know, oh. if, if someone in the family says, let's watch Holiday Inn this Christmas, I go, no. <laughs> no, I will not, sir. I will not watch Holiday Inn because the guilt is too strong. Oh. <laughs> but oh. when Howie says that, I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, hell, if everybody's related. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I I just I, I'm I am absolutely beyond trying to guess real things, and when I see other people trying to do it, it's just like oh, my, to be honest, my sweet summer child. That's how all of this feels. Though. Yes, yeah. I mean, it, I, that's why we're doing this. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> we're demonstrating how ridiculous it is. When we found Han floating in space, we just threw in some back day. He's fine. Yeah. Yeah. He's fine. That'd bring you back from anything. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's going to wear those, one of those fin suits. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. He's going to, yeah. <laughs> he's going to leak all over the place. And yep. Yeah. He's yeah. all good. Great. Anybody got any clothes for me? <laughs> <laughs> I really need some goddamn clothes. <laughs> oh, look, an airplane. <laughs> And then he dies. <laughs> yeah, that's how he dies. <laughs> you get 30 seconds of Han Solo. He wakes up on a table in the back to suit, the pees his way across the plank, sp spots a <laughs> spots a Spitfire, <laughs> hops in fire, a Spitfire. He, a Cessna? No, 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 no. It's got to be like a classic World War II. You see, <laughs> he spots a Japanese Zero. P 47 must. He climbs in. Uh, a thunderbolt. He sees a thunderbolt. Hops into the thunderbolt, oh, yeah. and then That's he just plane. piles right into the bulkhead and it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we know he's dead. There's his body smoking like an Owen in Peru. <laughs> oh, look, there's plenty of ash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh no, you better. Yeah, let's get some DNA to make sure. Come on, <laughs> yeah. and you know, a sample that, that Infinity Gauntlet. Still, <laughs> <Yeah>. still. <laughs> You got to be ready. Well, that's the only way Star Wars is going to survive. They've got, to, they've got to do a Marvel crossover. Come on, yeah, come on, everybody. Yes, everyone loves crossovers. Always, I do. <laughs> that All crossover. Hello. 
Any time I remember being excited when the CW was doing the crossovers with like the Flash and Supergirl and Arrow and all that. Yeah, right. Like the second, third, or I don't know, hundredth <laughs> time they did it, I was just like, oh god, this is so forced. Because everybody has to get together, and there's always people who haven't met yet, so they all have to say their pithy line that illustrates the entire demeanor of their character forever and always. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that other people are like, okay, I get you now. <laughs> and then move on. I'm just like, oh, oh that's so painful. That's you. So I painful. Understand. <laughs> oh, you're a sarcastic angry man. A okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're an angry elf. You're the nervous talker. <laughs> anyway. I'm elf. All right. Well, <laughs> I don't say elf again. Elf. elf. What? Okay. Huh? Elf. He's, he's, he's going to come over and drop kick you now. Yep. Wait for How it. How he's quoting movies. Wait, wait for it. Yep. Oh, are wait, we? Are we still podcasting? I, we shouldn't be. <laughs> we have no. no business doing this.